could you describe, because I did not know any of this till I read your book, this whole process of like a ship gets close to the port and then there's this captain, <laughs> the local captain who has to get up and basically parallel park the thing. <laughs> could you just walk, run us through how that process works? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as much as we have uh, turned uh, ocean going shipping into into a, a really routine business, almost like office work for the sailors on board, once they get close to port there, you know, there is still some uh, swashbuckling and danger and romance left in the process. Because, uh, <laughs> these ships are so big, they've gotten, they're so close to the maximum size that any of these ports or terminals can accommodate that, you know, wherever you are in the world, um, you know, the captain of a ship is not allowed to take that ship into a port. They need somebody with specialized knowledge to do it. Um, and that person is called a harbor pilot. And, uh, you know, the Port of LA Long Beach is sort of typical in how that works. And, and I've actually actually went out with these harbor pilots and it's an incredible experience because they get on this, you know, 30 foot boat that, that moves very quickly. It's like a speed boat and it's just kind of chopping through the water. And you know it's 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 blackout because it, all of this is happening at four a.m. because that's when they want to bring in ships, and you come up alongside the ship, you know, and you and you and they flip on a searchlight, and suddenly you know this it, it's like being underwater, I imagine, and, and being a diver next to a blue whale or something. Just this behemoth looms in front of you. You know, the letters of the ship's name are twenty feet tall, and there's this terrific swell, and the harbor pilot's boat has to pull up alongside this container ship. And um, they, they, they throw down what is literally to this day, I kid you not, a rope ladder still. Ladder. <laughs> and the harbor pilot has to very gingerly, and these two boats have a different period of their going up and down, at just the right moment, kind of, kind of gingerly hop slash step off of the front of the pilot boat. And there's a, there's a, a body man there to, to, to try to help him if something goes wrong. And, and leap onto the ladder and scramble up it before the swell of the ocean catches him. Because if this harbor pilot uh, goes under, their survival rate is almost zero. Uh, you know, if you're a harbor pilot over the course of your career, you have a one in 20 chance of dying on the job. Wow. And this is how the world's most skilled pilots are transferred to the world's largest vessels over and over and over again, thousands of times a day all across the world. This is how every single one of those 100 ships that's waiting in line outside the port of LA and Long Beach has to be brought in um, is this 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 you know this big strong guy who is an extremely experienced pilot who, who's so experienced that he gets paid more than four hundred thousand dollars a year for his services has to risk his life to get onto that giant ship 